Hey there, Sheree here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here to share with you a pattern review for another quick and easy woven top. Um, I shared these plans last fall. I linked to that video in the description box. Um, and I'm finally getting around to sharing the video of the review of the pattern. Um, soon many of us will be restarting making kind of fall weathered items and so it's also a good time to start sharing some of these things in case any of you want to add it to your 2023 fall sewing plans uh so yeah stay tuned for that oh and also if you're interested in this top that i'm wearing i love i love this fabric um i will link to the video where i talked about this top in the description box as well all right let's get into the review so here's the top that we're going to talk about today and i used a new look pattern 6582 to make this top i'll tell you about the fabric and we'll have a closer look at what was involved in creating this coming up okay so as i said this is new look 6282 super easy top pattern it actually this pattern actually includes pieces to make the top uh view a you get uh pants as well view b and then you get a little uh like wristlet wallet thing uh view c so you know for a few bucks you actually get quite a number of pattern pieces that you can make up an entire little outfit with uh, so far i've just made the top if we look at the back of the pattern, we'll just do a quick scan. This is a pattern that is designed for woven fabrics. The suggested fabrics here say a crepe de chine, soft, lightweight linen types, and silky type fabrics. View B is also for stretch velvet, the pants. And then view C is for cotton types, um, denims, dab, uh, damask uh, fabrics you know, basically weightier fabrics for the little purse. Um, it says here that it is uh, suitable, but you have to allow extra fabric for matching plaids or stripes. The only notions that I needed uh, to sew this together were thread and some elastic. You need quarter inch elastic for the wrists of this top. And then a quick zoom in at the sizing. We see here like I think all new look patterns, or most of them, they only go up to a pattern size 18, which translates to a bust size of 40 inches, a waist of 32 inches, hips of 42 inches, and the back neck to waist length is 17 inches for this top. So um, it's a smaller size range. The small size range is a size 10 which is for a 32 and a half inch bust. If you don't fall into that size range, I do think it's an easy enough top, you know, if you have some skills with grading that you could grade this up and grade it down. Uh, so if we look at the features, let's pull out the little um, pattern booklet and have a quick look. For the top, you only have a few pieces. You have the top front, which does have bust darts you have the top back, you have a back and front neck facing piece, you have your sleeve, and then these are different uh, bindings um, I and ties. I didn't use uh, any ties, uh, that's the one modification that I made. I just left mine open because I like a top like this and just having, um, you know, it without ties. So let's have a quick look at uh, my garment for the fabric here this is a another um, animal print I'm pretty sure yes this is just a different colorway uh, from Mimi G's fabric collection that she did for the noun defunct fabric.com um, you can probably still find this fabric if you search for it online I'm not sure um, but it came out what like a few years ago um, but really fun, pretty colorway. Um, it is a rayon chalet type fabric. And I, um, you know, as I mentioned, the one modification that I made is I did not bother putting inserting ties here um, because I knew that, you know, 
I didn't want the neckline all closed up like that. So I could see this was a top where I would just sew it and leave that off. And then when I wear it, and you'll see in the pictures, it just kind of naturally falls back like this. Pretty much the only, yeah, that is the only modification that I made. Um, you can see here, it has a nice curved hemline. So if you want to wear this, you know, out um, as shown, uh, where you're not tucking it into your pants, it has this nice, pretty, you know, curved hemline, which I really like. And um, just easy elastic uh, in the wrist. Now you can see how you could easily crop this off to a three quarter length, you know, bracelet sleeve. You could do um, a short sleeve with this top. Um, you could hack that sleeve to different lengths and putting your elastic in very easily. Otherwise, the only other thing you really do, you know, is you have to put the facing in, which again, these, this top has inset sleeves that you gather, pretty straightforward, um, and it does have this nice um, facing, which I like a facing like this personally. So I just searched the edges. This is just an everyday kind of top for me, so I didn't get all into any kind of fancy finishing. I just searched the edge. If you don't have a serger, you could easily, you know, use your pinking shears or, you know, hem that, put it, you know, encase it in binding. Um, however you typically finish your seams up. And yeah, you just, you have the inside sleeve and you have your little hem and your facing and that's it. So yeah, very straightforward. I think, um, again, for, um, you know, the cost of a pattern like this, it's well worth it if this is your style to add this to your pattern collection. I have some uh, gorgeous woven fabrics, some cave um facet as well as some Anna Maria Horner uh, woven fabrics that I'm actually thinking about pulling one to make a new one for fall. Um, I think again, it's just, I love a simple top like this um, where you can really feature your fabric. You don't have a lot of cutting and style lines in here. You just have the bust starts, which I mean, you can't even really see unless you know they're there. So you don't have much going on that interrupts your print. So if you're a print person like me, um, and even, you know, as shown in a solid, um, it's just a really quick, easy, fun, and very wearable, practical top. I love it. I'm adding it to my fall 2023 sewing plans because I've only made this one. And you guys know if I find a pattern I like it, I'll probably make it two or three times. Um, I am having a lot of fun going through my wardrobe pulling out things that I haven't been wearing or I don't love that much and replacing it with my lovely handmade mix. Um, and so this has been one that I have really enjoyed wearing. Um, I actually wore it all through spring. I wore it a couple weeks ago when we had a little bit cooler temperatures. So for me, it really is a year round top. Um, so yeah, I don't think I have much more to say except easy breezy, great for beginners, particularly uh, like an intermediate beginner, you would go through this pretty quickly. Um, so let's cut now and I'll show you what it looks like on me. Okay, friends, thank you so much for tuning in today to watch this review. Let me know in the comments what you think about this pattern. Definitely let us know if you've sewn it before and what your impressions were. And let us know if you think this might be something that you would add to your fall 2023 sewing plans or not. 
Remember, this is New Look 6582. Yeah, so thank you so much. Just a quick review. I'll be back soon with another, okay? Take good care. Bye. So that's impressive how much I'm messing with my feelings and my heart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's impressive how much I'm messing with my feelings and my heart. Oh, yeah. I'm going back to the table around all these Thinking